guys welcome back so in this video what we're gonna be doing is creating users groups and organizational units which also known as OU's in AD also known as Active Directory so here's just a few little icons about Active Directory users some groups some organizational units and this is going to be our DC that we're utilizing all right so let's jump into our environment we are using the same environment let me actually make this full screen and this is our Windows 10 machine. So if we just do a CMD, and we're logged in as Dion, but if we do host name, we can see this is our VM, all right? So let's just go to our DC, our domain controller. So like we said, we're gonna be focusing on organizational units, groups, and users. So I've done a few in the, in the couple past videos, but in this video it's going to be strictly how to create it, how to manage it, etc. So this is how this is our domain infosecpat.com. So in here what we're going to do is just create another organizational unit. We'll do that first. We do have IT, we have our Florida site OU, but we're going to make a new site. We're going to make a new organizational unit called New York. All right? So we're going to put New York. Okay? So we have New York here. So we're gonna create a few organizational units within New York, like we have in Florida State. We're gonna make computers, users, servers, and groups. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. First thing we're gonna do is create a new organizational unit called computers. Okay, and then we're gonna do one called users. And then we're gonna create another one called groups and then servers I believe right yep servers just want to make sure all right so let's go ahead and new organizational unit servers perfect so now we have our organizational unit so what is an organizational unit it's pretty much a container that contains um, a structure of your active directory so in in a video that we can create group policies, we apply, let's just, for example, let's open up our group policy management. Okay, let's just put group policy, type in group policy, and group policy should come up. Right there, group policy management. So when you apply group policies, let's just open this up. This is a little off subject, but I just wanna make my point across. So we go to domains here, go to infosecpat.com, and then we have Florida State, New York, and IT, IT in New York. So in here we have these organizational units. So we have no group policies that apply. So we can right click, link a group policy to this domain. So we can just create a group policy and then hit okay. And we only have, if we go down to our group policy object, we only have our default domain controllers policy. And then we have our default domain policy all right so if we want to go here we can go to settings and we can see the policy settings of here so if we hit show all here show all and we can see everything about this we can modify this we can change it and then also we can add new ones okay and we'll uh, we'll get into more of that so in order to apply this you can't see only see all these are just organizational units Say if we go back to Active Directory, we have, for example, different containers, like the users, we cannot apply that group policy to this users, right? So if we right click on here, go to properties, we can only see, you know, this, this container, you know? So in order to apply a group policy, you need an actual organizational unit to apply that, okay? Fair enough? All right, so let's continue. So in New York, so let's go back to our slide for a second. <clears throat> so that was our organizational units, okay? So next we're gonna go ahead and create some users in that, in those OUs to, you know, make it effective, all right? So let's go ahead and go back to our Active Directory environment. All right, so in New York, we're gonna go to users and we're gonna create a couple of users. So we're just gonna put new, 
and I'll show you, uh, we're gonna do new, we're gonna put just like user one, okay? And then I wanna just put user one, and then next, and then I'm, I'm gonna say um, user cannot change password and password never expires, because this is just a lab. And I wanna put my password for my labs, okay? And just hit next and finished, okay? <clears throat> And I can just go ahead and copy this and just put user two, user two, whoop, two, and then put my password. And if you see here, it's it, it copied the same settings. So next, finish. So if I go to this account, we can see everything that's the same. We can go to members, obviously domain users. So what I wanna do here, this is what I wanted to see. So if I go to user two and I go to members of, it's the same, right? So now let's go ahead and go to user two, it's fine. And we can put him in a couple different groups. We can put him in the administrators group, for an example, okay? I wanna have this person as an admin, okay? So I wanna create one from user one. So I wanna copy, and this is gonna be user three. And then user three. Next, okay, and then put my password. Perfect, and next, okay. So user three, if we go into members of, it shouldn't be the administrator because we copied from user one, all right? So let's hit okay here. Now let's go ahead and go to user two. Let's just double click on it, show you members of, he's a member of the administrators group. So we're gonna copy user two, and we're gonna put user four, okay? And then I'm gonna put user four, perfect. And then I wanna put his password. Awesome sauce, All right, hit finish. Now we can go to user four. He should be a part of the administrators group. Bada bing, here we go. All right, cool deal. So last thing, we're gonna go ahead and create a group. So we're gonna go to groups. We're gonna go right click, new, group okay for the most of the time we're going to go ahead and do global security a distribution group is more for like mail exchange doing distro groups so in this group we're going to call it it group okay that's fine and now we have it group and we're going to make two more just to have at least three so we're going to put the sales group okay and then we'll make one more group which sales, we're gonna put help desk, help desk group, okay? Perfect. All right, so if we go to IT here, we go to users, we have a few people in IT. So we're gonna go ahead and put, who's the lucky ones? I wanna put Dion and Patrick. I'm gonna put him into the IT group. So if we go to add to group, we go to advance, we go to find now, we can just look at, we can look for IT. Whoop, nope, not that. Advance, find now, IT group, here we go. Took a second. So IT group, okay, perfect. That's perfectly fine. Now let's go back to the groups. We got IT group, because he's in New York, but IT group, now we go to members, and we can see Dion and Patrick, see that? All right, so now let's go back to users and let's put John and James into the help desk because they're only help desk guys. So add to a group. Let's bring this over here, go to advance, go to help desk, find now, and we have the help desk group. See that? And we can hit okay, okay. This, op you know, the group, uh, the, the add to group operation was complete. Perfect, now we can go back to the groups in New York, help desk, members, and we see John and James. Perfect. So that pretty much sums it up. How to, let's see if we missed anything. Nope, we did everything. We did some users, we did some groups, and we did some organizational units. We did this everything in DC01. So that pretty much concludes this video. And until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.